Hey guys, Knoopsy here, and right now you're looking at a digital point-and-shoot camera that's almost 10 years old. The camera is the Kodak EasyShare C503, and it's one of the first cameras that I've ever used. It shoots 5 megapixel photos, up to 640x480 video, and has a lens aperture of f2.7 to f4.8. Technical specifications aside, you can see how the camera performs for yourself. Now for the time, this was a pretty good digital camera, but by today's standards, it definitely wouldn't be a camera used by Team Crispy. Fast forward to 2015, few people carry on dedicated digital cameras, but rather their smartphones for pictures and videos on the go. And basically every smartphone today you can find a decent or great camera, and even budget smartphones are still equipped with capable shooters. It was around 2011 when cameras and smartphones started to beat out or match other digital cameras and camcorders in the market that consumers would buy separately. Also around this time, consumers started to abandon the mindset that pictures being taken on a smartphone are bad. But what's truly amazing is how technology has evolved so much in the last 10 years, giving us very capable and pocketable cameras already built into our devices that we use to make calls on and play games on. Comparing pictures and video samples from the Kodak to pictures taken on the iPhone, you can see just how much the quality has changed. So in about 10 years, we've gotten this far. Smartphone cameras these days shoot video in slow motion, 4K, and are able to take pictures in RAW. Some phones can do all these things and cost less, or about the same price as some point and shoot digital cameras, leading less people to buy an entirely separate camera. Despite this, digital cameras you can buy today will do a much better job in some cases than a smartphone, because some have bigger sensors, and of course, optical zoom. Today, people say there's no way your smartphone can replace a DSLR, but seeing what happened to the compact digital camera, in the next 10 years, anything can happen. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like down below, comment what you think comes next for smartphone cameras, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you for watching.